Andrew John Bluck and Adam Keith Merkitt dressed up as police officers to rob DPD drivers. They'd purchased stab vests with the word police on the front and at 5.56am on October the 12th, Bluck sent Merkitt a message saying, it only just fits, before Merkitt replied, you best be ready, let's roll out, this is going to be epic. Andrew Bluck and Adam Merkitt, along with Merkitt's living girlfriend Tanya Dorks, followed the delivery drivers through Northamptonshire, dressed as police officers, before stopping their vehicles and telling them their explosive packages on board. They got out of Sayat Lee and told the delivery driver they were undercover police officers and that there was a suspicious package in his van, forcing their way into the vehicle alongside the victim. Merkit guided the driver into the passenger side of the three-seat van and sat on the door side, while Bluck drove the van, leaving the delivery driver trapped between the two of them. They drove to Highland Football Club car park, where they met Tanya Dorks in a silver say at Leon. They opened the rear doors while Dorks reversed her vehicle towards the back of the van, an items worth at least £4,000, including a laptop, TV, PlayStation, an iPhone and several Nike items were taken. The value of any other items stolen could never be established. The trio left the driver and went to buy drugs in Bedford before returning back to a hotel. Dorks were seen carrying night boxes, one of which appeared to be sold to a receptionist at the hotel. The self-employed DPD driver lost hundreds in income as his van had to be taken off the road while his locks were changed. He also suffered paranoia that he thought he was going to be targeted again. But one crime wasn't enough and two days later on October the 14th, Merkitt and Blood travelled to the DP depot in Bicester. The gang dressed as police officers, they approached the DPD driver, who they followed from a local depot and claimed to be undercover officers in order to take control of the vehicle, before again stealing thousands of pounds worth of goods. They stopped the van and told the driver they were police officers with the intelligence agency, and there was an the explosive package in his van. Merkitt and Blood forced him to open the van and search for boxes with batteries on the outside, which usually contain expensive electronics and then they drove the delivery driver around. They eventually stopped the van in the driver residential house, having stolen at least £1,472 worth of mobile phones. The driver flagged down a passerby who phoned 999. Dorks and Merkit were arrested a week later in Northampton when the Sayat Leon was flagged on an AMPR camera. Two combat knives were found in the boot. Merkit pleaded guilty to two kidnaps two robberies and two counts of knife possession. He has 19 previous convictions for 85 offences, which began when he was just 15 years old. They include a robbery in 2007, for which he served four years in prison. Escaping from lawful custody in 2009 and an arson in 2012. Just three weeks after DPD robberies were carried out, Merkett and Bluck robbed £4,000 from a convenience store in Cambridgeshire using an axe, a crime for which Merkitt is currently serving a five-year and eight-month jail term. He had already been questioned about DPD robberies and was released under police investigation when he carried out the axe robbery. Bluck also pleaded guilty to two robberies and two kidnaps. He is currently serving a sentence of three years and ten months for the axe robbery. He has convictions for 77 previous offences including a burglary which he was wearing an electronic tag when the DPD robberies were carried out. Dorks has no previous convictions, she was found guilty of one offence of robbery after the trial. She had claimed that she had been coerced into committing the crime by her boyfriend Merkit, but the court heard she had willingly taken part and that she had continued her relationship with him, although she had told probation officers that she had recently split up with him. The judge said you continued a relationship with him throughout the trial and the only prospect of a custodial sentence today has made you consider leaving the relationship. I'm sad to say it's something I don't think you have really done but something you've said you said you'd done to save yourself. 
The court heard that Dorks, who met Murky on Tinder in 2019, had a child for whom she was responsible, and her barrister argued she should not be jailed. But the judge said she had no regard for her son when she had taken back-to-back -back holidays to Morocco and Mexico, causing her family situation to come to the attention of local social services. For Blunt, the defence said that both men had Class A drug addictions and that his client had made a step change since being jailed. He said he attempted to sever his ties with his old associates. Merkit was given nine years in prison for the robberies, five years and three months for the kidnaps and six months for the knife possession offences, all to be served concurrently, meaning his total sentence is nine years. Luck was handed prison sentences of nine years and seven months for the robberies and five years, four months for the kidnaps. He'll serve them concurrently, but consecutively to the axe robbery sentence he was already serving. Dorks was jailed for 30 months as her sentence was handed down. Both Murkett and Bluck, who appeared from Her Majesty's prison, Peterborough, their heads in their hands and appeared shocked. As Dorks was taken down, she shouted, I'm going to appeal. Don't worry, 